Kia ora New Zealand and your bulletin today. It was a huge shock for passengers this morning as a train derailed near Wellington Station. The rear carriage on the Porirua service came off the tracks near the inter-islander ferry terminal just after 8am. A large tank was pushed through the floorboards of one of the carriages, but there were no reports of any injuries to the 350 passengers on board. As a safety precaution, Kiwi Rail has taken 26 trains off the tracks in Wellington, all of which are the same model as the one that derailed. In the meantime, buses have been used to transport passengers to their destinations. And the government didn't deliver a food and schools announcement in last week's budget, but John Key says the initiative is coming. The package has been hinted at, but wasn't delivered. It'll be there in, I don't know, a week and a bit. There's another partner involved, and part of it was it suited them better. And a slain Northland couple has been described as a happy husband and wife. Ivan and Carmen Mahino died yesterday after being shot in their Fairburn home near Kaitaia. A 38-year-old man has been charged with two counts of murder and he was due to appear in court today. Police say he has been remanded in custody until May the 30th. Mr and Mrs Mahino had two children who are now believed to be now staying with their grandparents. And expect a heated debate between the, U, uh, the US and New Zealand over its Trans-Pacific Partnership. Over 270 leaders from New Zealand and the US are meeting in Washington DC to discuss relations between the two nations. Stephen Jacoby from the New Zealand US Council says the TPP is complex and controversial and with Japan involved it will count for around 40% of world GDP. And Oxfam's warning warmer weather will increase health-related risks for hundreds and thousands of Syrian refugees in Jordan and Lebanon. The charity is appealing for urgent funds as diseases such as diarrhoea and skin infections have been recorded in temporary settlements and it's crucial that refugees have shelter, clean water and adequate sanitation. It's aiming to raise $54 million over the next year. And the UN High Commissioner for Refugees has said the number of refugees in Jordan alone could reach 1.2 million by the end of the year. And finally in sports, it was a classroom lesson for the All Blacks wider training group in Mount Maunganui today. The squad of 31 will sit through logistics, planning and strategy meetings during their three days together, along with light training duties before returning to their super rugby teams. Kieran Reid is likely to lead the team in the June internationals, and he says it's about making sure everyone is on the same page and they get a feel for how they want to do things in June against France. And that was your news for Monday the 20th of May. Ka kite anō.